Welcome back to Valley View Live on this Monday. More and more singles are traveling this holiday instead of getting together with their families. And Las Vegas continues to be a top destination. We have with us Hannah De La Cruz of MissTravel.com. You're joining us now with some great advice for information for singles who are traveling. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. All right, so can you tell us more about the recent study that named Las Vegas as the top destination this holiday season? Why do you think so many, okay, why is it the top destination? For so singles? we pulled data from our members. So with 20,000 trips planned this holiday season, uh -huh. Las Vegas was a top destination for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Wow. Why do you think that is? I mean, Vegas is a place people love to come to, to mm. party, to do the strip thing, but there's also a big community outside of this. Why Vegas? Exactly, you said it right there. Las Vegas is an, is an adult playground, good uh -huh. for everybody. There's so much to do here. And one, it's so easy to get to for most American cities. Okay. It's much warmer here than most places right now it's in the United place, States. But, uh -huh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have like lower than average hotel prices. Uh -huh. And most importantly, there's so much to do here. Right. There's the shows like Legends, uh -huh. um, yeah. Cirque du Soleil. There's something for everybody and also we have there are top buffet options and ah. five-star restaurants so you don't m feel like you're missing out on a holiday meal so singles are opting yes. for to come travel here instead of spending time with their family yes right. that's what we found in our study because you know what most americans only get two weeks off and holidays mm -hmm during the year, so you don't really want to deal with a lot of stressful situations that you might have with your family, like asking, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? Right. So that's a little bit too stressful for the holidays. So for they're people. saying, so according to this study, you're, there people are saying out there, you know what, instead of going home for the holidays, I'll go home different times of the year. Okay. Exactly. Then, and leave the holidays for my traveling and yes. dating and mm -hmm. hooking up. Yeah, okay. so people were trying to spark a romance instead of kind of Which dealing I'm with. I'm yeah. not mad about that either. <laughs> I don't think I'm mad about that either. Yeah, mistravel.com is actually a dating website. Can you tell us about mistravel.com? Yeah, sure. So mistravel.com is a dating site specifically geared for travel enthusiasts and okay. people who love to travel. So instead of going to dinner and a movie, mistravel members will set up a a first date to a destination like Bali, Las Vegas. Oh, wow. wow. First yeah. date? Yes, first date. <laughs> okay. <laughs> advice. That's a, good, that's a good piece of advice. You it, know, just go big. Right. Go yes, big. the and first just. date. And if not, you're in a wonderful location. Exactly. So whether you like the person or not, you can get to And travel on. is like a hallmark for relationships, right? right. Whether yeah. you're going to make it or break it if you can travel with somebody. So if you get that out of the way, during right. the first date, then you'll determine compatibility much faster. So what advice would you have for first time dating travelers? Sure. Well, so first, my most important number one piece of advice is keep an open mind. Okay. Try to have fun. Kay. Choose a destination like Las Vegas because there's so much to do here, so you will never get bored. Okay. And then before you commit to a date, make sure you FaceTime with a person. Mm. Google image search is your friend. Ah. Make sure they are who they say they are. And then um, when you do plan a trip, Make sure all your tickets and your accommodations are booked under your name so okay. that if travel plans change, then you can just go on your way. Wow. wow. <laughs> I'm a little blown I mean, away. Yeah. <laughs> How long has MissTravel.com been around and what does it cost for people to be part of it who are watching? So, MissTravel.com right has been around since 2012. We have more than half a million members worldwide, 135 countries. Uh -huh. So, um, it's $40 a month for men and free for women. I okay. like that free for me. Mistravel.com. But men are com. also invited to get on yes. this, and that's how they meet people. So exactly. Is it, can you compare it to other dating services out there? I mean, how does it compare? What what is so much better about it? So mistravel.com is exactly for travel lovers. So you're not going to go on a site like Tinder or Match and sure. like find somebody that just wants to travel right. with you. So mistravel is for somebody that like if you're going to Bali next week and you want to date then you go on Miss Travel and find somebody that will fly away with you. So you're already a traveler. Uh -huh. Exactly. And that's what you do, so yes. why not get your date on in the meantime? Mm -hmm. I'm not mad about that. Exactly. That's awesome. That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> that's Thank awesome. you, Hannah, so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so much for having me. You heard it here, folks. Single travelers wow. will be flocking to Las Vegas for the holidays. A good time to be single, huh? So if you're <laughs> looking for love, it might be a good time to head to the Strip. To learn more about MissTravel.com, head to their website or find them on Facebook or Twitter. Still to come on Valley